Hey guys, it's Rebecca. In today's video, I'm actually showing you how I attach the um, patches onto my leather vest. Now these, some of these are like iron on patches, but what I have is a fabric glue that I use to kind of like temporarily adhere them to the area. And then I go and I sew around the border of them so that, you know, hopefully they will stay on my leather jacket instead of flying down the road at 55 miles an hour. Um, this is a brother sewing machine. It is a Project Runway one. I had an original Project Runway one when they first came out with them like 15 plus years ago. And it was like a $200 sewing machine that I got on sale for like a hundred bucks. And that one finally died. Um, and then probably about eight years ago, I bought this one maybe a little bit less than eight years ago. I used it once and then I realized I really didn't have anywhere to sew. I didn't have space in my room to put up a small table. Uh, I couldn't use the kitchen table because it is literally full of boxes of crap that belonged to my dad. There was nowhere in the house that I could set up my sewing machine and so, So now that I have um, this new room that I can use out there for crafting and stuff, it's been very handy. I've been doing all kinds of things with my sewing machine. I am more than just makeup. This channel was initially started so that I could teach people about jewelry or do like demonstrations on how I make jewelry. So this isn't just a makeup and beauty channel. Um, it never was started to be makeup and beauty. It was started to be more like how to's or tutorials or guides on how to do some of the things that I do. Um, I might not always have the most perfect techniques or I learned from either watching other people or asking questions um i have never had like official like sewing classes i watched my grandmother and my mother sew and my aunt sew um i can crochet and cross stitch and bead and paint and you know i do a bunch of different things and when i'm having a rough day or i'm bored or whatever i always have something i can do so this is one of those things that I find that I can sit and do for a couple of hours. Now, granted, I spent way too much time out there the day that this was filmed, which was the 30th of July. And I, we had no internet most of the day. So I spent several hours out there um, finishing up some projects and, you know, doing this and then getting this set up to do other um, patches. I have six more ready for me to sew on. So... This is, and I sped it up times two. It was like 19 minutes long and I did speed it up times two. So this is just me sewing on my patches. I do have to fight with like these sides of the vest when I'm sewing this on. And when I get around to doing the actual front pieces of the vest with the patches that I bought, um, I'm gonna have a hard time doing that because a lot of it's gonna be hand sewing because there are this is a concealed weapons jet, uh, vest, so there are double pockets on the inside. There's pockets on the outside as well. So I'm going to have to hand sew the bottom part of the front of the vest just so I don't, you know, basically make my pockets in uh, unusable. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. It is not makeup related. It is more crafting. I did record this with my phone and I tried to do it at an angle in which you could see what I was working on. But of course, now that I'm looking at the footage filming this, um, you know, voiceover, I find that maybe I should have lowered the tripod a little bit so you could see more of um, the close up of what I was working on. So this is just the first time that I tried to film this and um, just gives me an idea of what I need to change in my filming setup. So if you like these videos, let me know what you think down below and enjoy watching the rest of the video. See ya.